we have one electron hole pairs. We got high the high atmosphere state. We add uh, sulfur. So we have a sample. We assist it with the uh, PCO sulfur. We heat at 300 degrees. And then you see the typical peak, the typical diffraction peak in the selenium. See, they tend to high the We are, if you put a material with a different lattice, lattice uh, then this produces what is called lattice mismatch. If there are some tension between the, the layers, and this produces defects. You have defects, this is uh, the electrons are going to use to this defects. So we lose a. Uh, we السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس فیڈرل اردو یونیورسٹی اسلام آباد میں ہمارے آج کے مہمان ہیں ڈاکٹر برناب ماری سکاسے ڈاکٹر صاحب یونیورسٹی آف پولی ٹیکنیک ویلنشیا اسپین میں اسکول آف ڈیزائن انجینئرنگ میں فل ٹائم پروفیسر ہیں اور اس کے ساتھ ساتھ ہی آپٹو الیکٹرانکس اور سیمی کنڈکٹر ریسرچ لیب میں پرنسپل انویسٹیگیٹر بھی ہیں ڈاکٹر برناب کے ساتھ ان کی بیٹی خولیہ ماری بھی پاکستان آئی ہیں جو خود بھی ایک پی ایچ ڈی اسکالر ہیں ڈاکٹر برناب ہمارے لیب انجینئرز ڈاکٹر حنیف اللہ ڈاکٹر محمد یوسف اور ڈاکٹر فیصل بیگ کے سپروائزر بھی ہیں ہم وفاقی اردو یونیورسٹی اسلام آباد میں رینیویبل انرجی ایکسیلنس سینٹر بنانے جا رہے ہیں اور ڈاکٹر برناب کا وزٹ اس سلسلے کی ایک کڑی ہے تو آئیے ڈاکٹر صاحب سے بات کرتے ہیں اور ان سے اس حوالے سے چاند ایک سوالات بھی پوچھتے ہیں ہیلو سر ویلکم ٹو فیڈرل اردو یونیورسٹی اسلام آباد تھینک یو Sir, it is your second visit in Pakistan, first time you came in 2018. Since then, what improvement or change do you see in Federal Urdu University, Islamabad and especially in Electrical Engineering Department? Well, indeed, uh, the new campus, when I visited uh, this university in 2018, the campus was in, in Islamabad, somewhere in Islamabad, I don't remember exactly where. But uh, now, this, you have a new campus, new building. Mm, this is a big, a big difference, indeed. You have interaction with our students and Pakistani community in general. What research potential do you see in our Pakistani youth? Well, uh, after delivering my talk or during my talk, I feel the students uh, were quite interesting. I, they follow the, the explanation with uh, interest. Uh, in my past experience, I have been uh, mm, several PhD students uh, in Pakistan. At least four uh, doctors from Pakistan has been formed in, in my university. And well, we plan to... Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm ready to, to have more students from, from Pakistan. Would you like to share some of your future plans regarding collaboration and working with Pakistani students? Yes, <laughs> in fact, <coughs> we are thinking in uh, presenting, in submitting a, a collaboration project with uh, several universities in the world, including the Federal Urdu University, with some uh, subjects related to, to renewable energy, in particular uh, solar energy. So we have already discussed of that with the people, with the people of the electrical engineering department. And well, we have to try, we are going to try to, to submit the, the project in the, in the next year, 2022. It will bring a good opportunity to continue our collaboration and also with Spain, but also with our university in Europe. Yes, we are ready for that. Thank you very much, Dr. Pranab. Dr. Pranab is also with his daughter, Kholiya Mari. Before Pakistan came, she was very skeptical. So, they ask them how Pakistan is coming from them. This is your first visit in Pakistan. How do you find Pakistani people and is there any change in your perception before coming to Pakistan and now you have reached here and met with the people? Well, I knew uh, that I had to be very open-minded uh, before coming here because this is very different culture to, for us. Uh, but I was sure that we uh, will be very take care 
because uh, my dad, he told me that Pakistanis are very nice people and they will take care of us and they will bring us here and there to visit uh, a lot of places. And now my perception of Pakistan and Pakistani people is that uh, this is real and they are very nice people. So I am happy to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.